This company is actually one decade old, more than a decade old, and we have started doing business uh, in India for last seven to eight years. Uh, it has been exciting journey so far. We have been growing about 30% CAGR annually, and last year we have clocked around two gigawatts of sales against all odds, against all hurdles that we have faced, uh, and uh, we are happy that we have reached this milestone. We were number one in the country last year. As I said, uh, we are conventionally doing solar modules and we have done several technologies. We have our own research and development arm and we keep making big world records for that. Uh, we also make uh, now ESS solutions. So we have also created a factory in China which is making these uh, energy storage solutions. Uh, we pick up uh, these components from various vendors across China, assemble it in a container and offer to Indian market and other regional markets as a containerized solution. Uh, we are planning that uh, we do more innovations in this to bring the cost down. But overall cost of this product will come down based upon the cost of lithium coming down. India. India is just below China in terms of the annual installations. India is, I think, number three in the world after China and USA. But USA is a Western country, so if you look at South Asia only, India is number two. And we are growing rapidly because India has a large population, large per capita power demand, and uh, we are now trying to adopt EV, which needs charging. So we are planning to charge from renewable. We are also going for green hydrogen, green ammonia which also needs renewable power. So all of these programs will make India one of the sought-after hub uh, within South Asian market. Yeah, so we have factories in uh, Malaysia. We also have factories in Vietnam. Uh, and But the bigger factories are in China. So it depends upon the allocation and availability of product in those countries. Uh, if at any point of time we need products uh, in two or three months time then we have to depend upon Chinese source but if we can give advance orders of around four to six months or even seven months then we can plan to allocate from Malaysia and Vietnam factories so I I hope that if our clients are listening to this conversation they will uh, take advance action to utilize the capacities available in Malaysia and Vietnam so that they can avail the duty-free benefits which is offered through FTA rules. It's already extended by a year. So we have to see what is the market uh, improvement happens by this announcement. Uh, although one year is a very short time, but whatever is there to offer in this one year, we have seen more number of inquiries coming our way. Uh, so we'll wait and watch. If government has some plans to extend it further, uh, we'll see that it will help to quick uh, adoption of technologies, quick adoptions of uh, solar targets and it will lead to the reaching of net zero target so soon as targeted before. So, you, you know that India generally do not adopt new technologies as a first taker. India is mostly the follower of technology. First, it is taken by European countries or Western world or the countries where they are manufacturing those technologies, like China. So, India adopts these technologies after a year or so. So, we have seen that Bifacial has done its journey of that one or two years of waiting. And now, we have seen enough references across the globe of Bifacial technology. The advantage is that it offers additional energy and it is suitable for high heat and humid conditions, high solar insulation conditions in several states. India is adopting to those technologies and India has seen a potential saving on the tariffs by way of adopting bifacial technologies. Uh, the tariffs have improved a lot because we see almost 10 to 15 percent improvement in generation through these kind of products and uh, our developers are sensible enough because they are having cost challenge to offer lower tariffs. So they are adopting to buy fish.